Leading our news as we come in the air with our live broadcast at 6 o'clock, an exclusive new look at a site once home to a large encampment in Missoula. NBC Montana's Jacob Owens toured the site to see how it looks now, and he joins me at the desk tonight. And Jacob, what really stood out to you? Well, it's not every day you get to go inside a Humvee. And I was with a local security firm today. I tagged along as we went underneath the Reserve Street Bridge. And it was remarkable. Once you get underneath there, it was a pretty desolate scene. This was an area that was once bustling with activity. That doesn't appear to be the case anymore. Now, let's take a look. David Pritchard's company, Rogers International, has monitored the land near the Reserve Street Bridge for more than a year now. The number of people in the area dropped significantly since the area was cleared in 2022 and patrols began. Definitely not every day. Um, you know, we might go a, a week or two and see nobody. Parts of Monday's patrol looked like this, empty. Few signs of activity, just some leftover trash. Pritchard and co. did not come across any individuals. This is what the area used to look like back in 2022. Steve Felix with the Montana Department of Transportation says at its peak, more than 100 people were camping in the area. He says U.S. Highway 93 in Reserve Street is one of the busiest corridors in Montana. And he says homeless activity in the area put that corridor at risk. Um, huge impact if something bad were to happen to the bridges. Um, due to some type of a fire or propane explosion or some cer certain things that we thought were really high risk. MDT fenced off its land around the Reserve Street Bridge and a cleanup followed, which Felix says removed around a couple hundred tons of material. The department contracted with Rogers International to monitor the area. Richard's crew patrols it today looking for new trash, graffiti, and other signs of activity. If people staying in the area do not move along after warnings from the security firm, law enforcement gets involved. If you're willing to just leave the area and kind of leave it be from there, you know, have a good day. We, you know, we'll, you need a ride out, we'll bring you out. Pritchard, a veteran, says his company carries non-lethal force options like tasers and pepper ball guns in addition to firearms. He says his company has never had an incident with a gun. Rogers International is under contract to patrol the area around the Reserve Street Bridge through October of this year. At that point, the company's services will be reevaluated. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC, Montana.